Hello Oracle Database World, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to drop or delete a PLSQL procedure from an Oracle Database. Now, what is PLSQL? Well, PLSQL stands for Procedural Language slash Structured Query Language. Now, PLSQL, more specifically the PL part of PLSQL, okay, is an Oracle proprietary add-on to SQL. Okay, so Structured Query Language, SQL, or SQL, whatever you want to call it, is a standard among all RDBMS, Relational Database Management System products, language for manipulating and querying da uh, database um, data in a database software package, such as an RDBMS tool. Okay, um, however, Oracle added its own proprietary add-on to it called PLSQL. Okay, and PLSQL, but like that, um, PL adds a procedural language type of functionality to SQL. Okay, so it adds the ability of many high level languages such as C and Java, C, Perl, things like that, where you can create loops, uh, condition testing with if statements, functions, variables, things like that. So it really adds on to SQL. Okay. And the code is stored, is typically stored, even though it doesn't have to be, but it's typically stored in the Oracle Database Data Dictionary and, is ex and can be called at any time from SQL and uh, executed within the Oracle environment. So PLSQL is integrated into the Oracle Database, both the runtime and both the um, compiler. Okay? So let's go ahead and... Now, what, what's a procedure? Well, a, a procedure is just a chunk of code that's stored in the Oracle database in the data dictionary tables, which you can execute at any time. So you can call it at any time and run it. Okay, and it's always there because it's stored in the database. Unless someone drops it, he he he, which we're about to do. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's set our Oracle SID to finance. Let's ensure our Oracle SID is set properly. And let's connect to our database as finance database as SQL plus. Okay, we're connected. We will show user to ensure we're connected to the SysDBA, and type in the select name from V dollar sign database to ensure we're connected to the finance database, which we are. Now, to view the procedure to make sure it exists, we type in the following: select object underscore name from dba underscore objects where object underscore name is equal to job one and object underscore type is equal to procedure okay and so we query the dba underscore objects view which is a data dictionary view which contains information about all objects in an oracle database tables views functions triggers procedures whatever and we said that we only want to see objects named job one which are in the category of procedures so we only want to see objects which are procedures that are named job one and it returned job one so we know we have a procedure known as job one next we want to see the source code of this procedure to do that we query from a data dictionary view known as dba underscore source which holds the source code of dba objects such as triggers and views and uh, procedures and functions and things like that so Type in select text, which is the source code, from dba underscore source, where name is equal to job1 and type is equal to procedure. And there's the source code. Okay, we insert uh, a row of data into the names table called data1. We commit our insert. We sleep for 15 seconds by calling the sleep procedure that's contained in the R and the DBMS underscore lock PLSQL package. We insert a, another row of data, data two, we commit that insert and we end our PLSQL procedure. Okay. Now what does that look like when it when it runs? Well it looks like the following. Notice how we're referencing the table names. If I select asterisk from names, I will see that there are no rows in, in that table names. And if I do a describe on names to show me the physical structure of the table, I see that um, it has one column called F name and a data type varcar2. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's execute this procedure, and we do so by typing in the following: exec job one. 
EXEC short for execute, job one. And as you can see, there's a sleep here. So we're going to test the full functionality of this procedure by opening up another DOS window to the system, setting, up, setting our Oracle SID to finance, and using SQL Plus to connect directly the, to, to connect to this database and open up another session to this database. And we do a select name from v dollar sign database in this window we'll see we're connected to the same database select asterisk from names and we will see that there's no rows in this table that's how we see it in this session too and we're going to use a forward slash here to re-execute that command okay so we're going to go ahead and execute job one put this up here like that now we go into our other window and we do select asterisk from names and we keep executing it and we'll see that only data 1 has been inserted in the table because we have to wait 15 seconds before data 2 gets inserted. Oh, procedure is done. PLSQL procedure successfully completed. Now in the other window, we execute our select statement again and bam, now we have data 2 in our table. Okay, so data 1 and data 2 have been added to our names table. Okay, so we know that the PLSQL procedure works successfully okay so now what we want to do is we want to drop our procedure okay and how do we do that we do that with the following command it's the oracle delete command I call it drop any guesses that's right procedure job one drop procedure job one enter procedure dropped now when we type in select object underscore name from DBA objects where object name equals job one and object type is equal to procedure no rows selected comes back because we deleted that job okay and if we try to execute that job again that um, procedure it will come back and it will say this basically means that this job is not declared which means that it doesn't exist because we just dropped we deleted it by dropping it up here okay all right that's how you drop a procedure and as you can probably tell you could cause a lot of havoc in your company even lose your job if you drop a procedure um, inadvertently or even, um, even 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 do it to be uh, to be destructive okay that's how you drop a procedure